Mars is one of the most intriguing and mysterious planets in our solar system. It has fascinated us for centuries with its red color, its rocky terrain, and its potential for life. But how much do we really know about Mars? How does it compare to Earth? How does it change with the seasons? How did it lose its atmosphere and water? And what can it teach us about our own planet and its future? In this video, we will explore these questions and more with the help of some amazing new images of Mars taken in ultraviolet light by the MAVEN mission. These images offer stunning views of the planet's changing seasons and atmospheric dynamics. Most importantly, they also help us understand how Mars lost its atmosphere over time and what role the Sun played in this process. So join us as we take a spectacular journey to Mars in ultraviolet light. Mars is a fascinating world that has captivated our imagination for centuries. It is the fourth planet from the Sun and the second smallest in the solar system. It has two small, irregular moons named Phobos and Deimos, which orbit very close to the planet. Mars has a thin atmosphere composed mainly of carbon dioxide, with traces of nitrogen, argon, oxygen, and water vapor. It also has a weak magnetic field that does not protect it from the solar wind, a stream of charged particles from the Sun. Mars was not always like this. In fact, billions of years ago, Mars was very similar to Earth. It had a thicker atmosphere, a stronger magnetic field, and liquid water on its surface. It may have even supported life at some point. So what happened? How did Mars lose its atmosphere and become a cold and dry desert? The answer lies in the Sun. The Sun is constantly changing and evolving over time. About four billion years ago, the Sun was much more active and violent than it is today. It produced more intense solar storms and flares that bombarded Mars with high-energy radiation and particles. These solar events stripped away Mars's atmosphere by ionizing its molecules and accelerating them into space. This process is called atmospheric escape. As Mars lost its atmosphere, it also lost its ability to retain heat and water. The surface temperature dropped dramatically, causing most of the water to freeze or evaporate. The magnetic field also weakened, exposing the planet to more cosmic rays and erosion. The result was a dramatic transformation of Mars from a warm and wet world to a cold and dry one. Did you know that Mars has four seasons just like Earth? That's right, the red planet also experiences spring, summer, autumn, and winter. But there are some big differences between the seasons on Mars and the seasons on Earth. Let's find out what they are. First of all, the seasons on Mars are not caused by the tilt of its axis, but by its elliptical orbit around the Sun. This means that Mars is sometimes closer to the Sun and sometimes farther away from it. When Mars is closer to the Sun, it gets more sunlight and heat. When Mars is farther away from the Sun, it gets less sunlight and heat. This affects the temperature and the length of the seasons on Mars. Mars orbits closer to the Sun when its southern hemisphere is tilted towards it, whereas the northern hemisphere is tilted towards the Sun when it's further away. As a result, temperatures are much hotter during the southern summer than the northern summer. The southern summer is also shorter than the northern summer because Mars moves faster when it's closer to the Sun. Seasons on Mars are also much longer than those on Earth because the Martian year is almost twice that of Earth. A Martian year lasts 687 Earth days, or 1.88 Earth years. A Martian day, or Sol, is slightly longer than an Earth day, lasting 24 hours and 37 minutes. Seasons on Mars affect not only the temperature, but also the atmospheric pressure, wind patterns, dust storms, cloud formation, and ice caps. The warmer temperatures of summer cause the southern polar ice caps to shrink, which releases carbon dioxide and causes the atmosphere to be thicker. The colder temperatures of winter cause the northern polar ice caps to grow, which absorbs carbon dioxide and causes the atmosphere to be thinner. The changes in atmospheric pressure create winds that blow across the planet, sometimes reaching speeds of up to 400 kilometers per hour, 250 miles per hour. These winds can lift dust particles into the air, creating dust storms that can cover large areas of the planet or even engulf it entirely. Dust storms can last for weeks or months, blocking sunlight and reducing visibility. 
Moreover, the winds can also form clouds or haze in the Martian sky, especially near mountains or volcanoes where air rises and cools down. Clouds on Mars are made of water ice crystals or carbon dioxide ice crystals, depending on the temperature and altitude. They can appear white or blue in color. The seasons on Mars also affect the appearance of its surface features. Some features become more visible or prominent during certain seasons due to changes in illumination or contrast. For example, craters can appear darker or lighter depending on how they reflect sunlight or cast shadows. So as you can see, seasons on Mars are very different from seasons on Earth. They are more extreme, more variable, and more unpredictable. But they also make Mars a very dynamic and interesting planet to observe and explore. How do we study Mars and its seasons? One way is by using ultraviolet light, which is a type of light that we cannot see, but that can show us things that we cannot see with our eyes. Ultraviolet light can tell us about the Martian atmosphere, such as what it is made of, how hot or cold it is, and how it moves. One of the missions that uses ultraviolet light to study Mars is MAVEN, which is a NASA spacecraft that orbits around Mars. MAVEN has a special camera that can take pictures of Mars in ultraviolet light. These pictures show us different things about the planet's atmosphere and surface. One of the things that the pictures show us is ozone, which is a kind of gas that protects life from harmful light. Ozone on Mars looks purple in the pictures, and it changes with the seasons and the place. Ozone is more in the winter side of Mars, where it covers the ice caps. Ozone is also more near the middle of Mars, where it forms a thin layer. Another thing that the pictures show us is clouds or haze, which are made of tiny ice crystals. Clouds or haze on Mars look white or blue in the pictures, and they also change with the seasons and the place. Clouds or haze are more in the summer side of Mars, where they form near mountains or volcanoes. Clouds or haze are also more near the poles, where they form patterns. The pictures also show us the surface features of Mars, such as craters, canyons, volcanoes, and dunes. The surface features on Mars look tan or green in the pictures, depending on how they reflect or absorb ultraviolet light. Some features look more or less in certain seasons because of the light or the shadows. The ultraviolet pictures of Mars taken by MAVEN are amazing and beautiful. They show us how Mars changes with the seasons and how its atmosphere works. They also help us understand how Mars lost its atmosphere over time and what that means for our planet. Why are we studying Mars and its atmosphere? What does it tell us about the future of our planet? These are some of the questions that motivate scientists and explorers to learn more about our neighboring world. Studying Mars and its atmosphere can help us understand the history and evolution of our solar system, the potential for life beyond Earth, and the impact of climate change on planets and their habitability. It can also inspire us to explore new horizons, to challenge ourselves, to collaborate with others, and to dream big. It can also remind us of our place in the universe and our responsibility to preserve it. Thank you for watching this video about Mars in ultraviolet light. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.